Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Just keep it going. Yeah. Just keep it going. <laughs> That's it, you're there. Come on, you're there. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> press it out. Come on. Uh, press it, press on. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, get your belly. Come on. Yes. Come on. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, get in there. <laughs> yes. Yes, quality. A few weeks ago I made a day trip to Anstone Stones, which is a nice forest just outside of Sheffield, where you can find a few different limestone cracks. According to Boulder Britain, despite having tons of problems starting from 5s, you get the best blocks from 7A to 8B, so it's rather a hard venue. I was meant to meet up at the Apprentice Wall with some friends I had met a few weeks back in Leicester. It was the first time for me in Anston, so unfortunately it took me ages to get to this first crack, as I parked opposite to it and I had to walk all the way back. Anyway, once I got there, we warmed up and we started trying the Apprentice Brow, which is a 70 plus that has a really wild first move. You pull on from a couple of edges and then you have to reach to this good but hidden hold that you have to hit just right. Despite going right hand seemed the obvious way, we soon learned that going left shoulder was a bit easier, since you get to pull from a better position at the start with the right hand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's it done. Go on. Nice one. That's in, in. Oh, 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 right is really good. You got a bit puffy for your right if you bump it up. Bump your right, right hand. Big, big bump. Go on, you got Go it. On. Down. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You got it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Jesus. <laughs> Next up was Takashi Seat Start, a rather technical and a bit high body 7A+. It starts in some good holds and it moves on positive edges and footholds. The crux of it is on the second half where, after getting a slopey hold with your right hand, you have to reach out for a distant paw crimp with your left hand, and bump from it to a nicer but not really good edge, which is rather off balance. It's a quite committed move and after it you still have two more moves to the top chart. I felt quite solid on my flash try but I ended up bailing to fully commit to the bump onto the nicer edge. I luckily got to the end of my second try. The next thing we got on was Soul Crusher, which is the block I mainly wanted to try in Anstone Stones. It's a burly V10 that climbs on a roof and that starts with a monster pull from Ratty Crims into a goodish slot. From there you sort your feet out and do the second hard move which is moving the left hand from the start. After this you finish off doing a 6E or V5 to the top. I managed to do the first move two or three times but when I got to the slot I didn't manage to sort my feet out in a way that allowed me to move my left hand without swinging out. It simply felt impossible. I tried to move in isolation a few times but even then I couldn't do it. I didn't really want to spend much time on it since it really felt out of my league so I moved on to try some easier blocks like this one. 
and named 7A, which I managed to flash thanks to some beta advice. A bit of a softie for 7A I thought, but I'll take it. After climbing this block we went to the wave area where you can find some of the Unstone Stones classics such as Colt. A tricky 70 plus that as you are about to see it made me sweat quite a bit. Apparently there are many different beaters for this block that suit giants and shorties. We went for a funky one with a Neba, which I don't know whether is easier or harder than other methods but it looked cool so we went for that. But that's if we get the uh, investments and things. So I have to look at all this money that I can't touch as well. It's just that I don't want to That's it. Yes. That's the whole point of investments, why you don't touch them. Yeah. Yes. There you go. Yeah, but again. Nice. 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 It is unpleasant, but it'll. I'm pretty sure left, left table is better. Left is better? Be, uh, yeah, I thought so. <coughs> Left, yeah, and then just really rough over. Right. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Go on, go on. Just keep it going. Yeah, that's it. Don't Get the knee up. over. Get don't the knee over. <laughs> yeah. Help. Don't give up. Come on. Yeah. Use that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Or just get your, do, do a mantle. You can get a toe right top. up onto, see if we'll get a toe onto this. Oh, yeah. Come on. God. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. You're trying to break my drunk record? <laughs> trying to break my record for the longest man. Yeah, give it a proper go. Give it a proper go. Come on. Just swing. Just swing. Just go. Go, go, yes, go, go, yes, go, yes, go, go, go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yikes. There's a there's a deep like two finger pocket somewhere around here. Oh, it's filthy. Oh. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Just keep it going. Yeah. Just keep it going. <laughs> that's it. You're there. Come on. You're there. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Press it out. Come on. Uh, Press it. Press on. it. Yeah. Yeah. You can get your bed. Oh my god. Come on! Get in there! <laughs> yes. After dragging my bump up this block, we called it for the day and I drove back to London. A few days later, I found out some new beta for Soul Crusher, so I thought that I should definitely go back and give it another try. I basically watched some videos of climbers getting a drop knee in order to move the left hand from the start which was the move I couldn't do. Hopes were up again and I was determined to try my hardest in order to send the block. After warming up, I tried this move in isolation, but unfortunately, despite using new beta, the move felt as hard as in the first day. I gave it a few burns, but it didn't take me long to realize that I wasn't going to make much progress on it. So after a while, we moved to the wave area, hoping to tick off a few easier new blocks. 
We start it off by trying beta blocker. A tricky 7A where I found myself more bunched than I would have chosen to be. I dropped it in the flash dry as I couldn't really get a good grip on that undercling with my right hand. I got the block on my second attempt, wrapping my thumb around this same hold and committing to stand up on a poor and sleepy foothold. Overall, I'd say that this block climbs much better than it looks. After taking it off, I went to try the seat start, which is given 7B, and adds a bit of a funky start from the feature at the bottom of the rock face. I don't really know if I did something wrong, but the way I climbed this didn't feel a whole great harder. If something it might make it a bit of a longer 7A, but it didn't add difficulty. A few meters to the left of this you can find Beretta, a delicate 7A plus line on crimps where you have to get a few hill hooks and traverse through the lip of the boulder until you get to a jog. On my flash go I dropped the block halfway through, but luckily I made it to the top on my second attempt. After climbing this block, we moved the pads to the far right of the wave area to try another two sevens. The first one was the last stand, a block I had watched a few videos of and that it looked like it could suit me as it had a bit of a burly move that I presumed to be the cracks. However, looks were deceiving and I found this move hard as nails. 7A block on paper but I would have absolutely believed it was 70 plus if not harder. Blind Bat was the other 7A that I wanted to try on this day, so I got on it after resting for a bit. This one has a bit of a richy first move where I had to jump and catch an edge, and then it moves through some pockets and good footholds to finish on a bit of an awkward Gaston match in the break. This one went a bit quicker than the previous block, and it also felt easier. However, I nearly dropped the move to the top as I felt that my feet were placed in the wrong spot. Oh. 
Anyway, this sums up my two bouldering days in Anston Stones. I'm not really sure when I'll be back, as Soul Crusher still felt really hard and I'm looking forward to going to some other cracks around the Lake and Peak District. I might come at some point next year and test myself against Soul Crusher. For now, I hope you really enjoyed this vlog. Please like and subscribe if you want to support my channel. See you guys in the next one.